Hey guys, welcome back to the next video and uh, let's review the different charts which are available here within the ClickSense. So go into edit mode and here we are in the charts. So first and foremost chart that you have is the bar chart, very commonly used, shows you basically the comparison of the numerical value based on the dimension that you have chosen on the x-axis. Similarly, the box plot chart is a famous statistical chart to show the distribution of data. Combo chart is basically a combination of a bar and line chart. Distribution plot is a new and a different type of plot and uh, helpful in doing the comparison of numerical data when you want to basically group it from the perspective of its range comparison. After that you have filter pane which we have already explored over here. Uh, gauge chart is helpful in uh, gauging basically where the value is. You can compare it with your uh, cars dashboard which, which basically shows where the speedometer value is by indicating it from that line. Then you have histogram, another statistical chart which is helpful in identifying the distribution of data. Finally, you have this KPI. Um, KPI is a single measure chart and helpful in uh, showing and highlighting the key performance indicators. Then you have line chart <coughs> which is basically useful in showing the trend information related to let's say for example you want to see orders over a period of time uh, and uh, similar metrics like that then you have a simple map to basically show the let's say you have uh, different countries information or states information and you want to show it on a map with the help and you want to take uh, the advantage of that intuitive visualization you can use map then you have the pie chart, very commonly used and a traditional chart to show the portion of the data. That means uh, which portion is taking the most part compared to the other. Then you have pivot tables. I believe you have been using it if you have prepared the reports and dashboards. So pivot table is present that we will see in our videos. You have scatter plot. Scatter plot is uh, very helpful. Sometimes it is also called as bubble chart. But uh, if you have, let's say, thousands of data points and you want to plot it on X and Y axis, it is really useful. We will see it in action. Then you have a simple table. Many times simple tables are useful in uh, viewing the information. So you can use that. Then you have text and image, very useful from the perspective of reports, dashboards, and for a custom text you want to display. Then you have a tree map chart which I feel is the advancement of the pie chart because uh, it shows uh, what each section is taking and you can even have hundreds of section and you have one section and another section so there is a lot of possibilities with that we will see it in action and then finally the waterfall chart for those uh, custom needs where you really want to see that uh, how a particular value is making up when it has the different sections so all of these charts we will see it in action in their respective videos but in this video I just wanted to give you a quick idea if you are just starting up with the ClickSense then what are all the charts which are available to you uh, some of them will be definitely uh, you know you must have seen like pie bar pivot table and all but some of them would be absolutely new so let's see them in action when their when their um, turn is arriving. So that's pretty much it for this video, and I will meet you in the new video, new topic.